hi guys welcome back again to my channel I am going to bake you up today a uh, Jamaican tota tota bread or tota cake in my kitchen so if you want to see how I make my tota bread or my tota cake in my kitchen come on and let's go Now, let me walk you through the, your ingredients and the things that you will need in order to make this Jamaican Toto. You're going to need three cups of all-purpose flour. Let's see that's what we have here. We have a cup and a half of milk. I have a cup and a half of granulated sugar. Two and a half cups of coconut, dried coconut. If you have the fresh coconut, you could use that. That's dry coconut. I also have here four teaspoons of soft butter or margarine. What else we got here? We have two eggs. I have one tablespoon of baking powder. I have three teaspoons of baking powder. I'm also going to add some raisins to that. You don't have to add raisins to yours, but I'm going to add raisins to mine. And depending on how much raisin you want, if he's a raisin lover, you go ahead and add that. Um, I'm going to put some vanilla, a tablespoon of vanilla. Also, I'm going to add some ginger to that. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of nutmeg, and teaspoon of cinnamon powder. So I think I covered everything here. And so now I think it's time to add our ingredients. Let's go. Okay guys, we are moving on to our next step. And as always in my kitchen, when I'm baking or cooking or anything that I'm doing, I try to make things as fast as one, two, three but tasting wonderful. So the first thing I have here guys I'm gonna go over with you is three cups of all-purpose flour. Alright? You want to go ahead and add your sugar in. That's one and a half cup of granulated sugar. So you mix that in. Then you want to go ahead and add your salt, your nutmeg and your cinnamon powder and that is all one teaspoon of each. And you mix that in. Then I'm going to add three teaspoons of baking powder, one tablespoon of baking soda, and you mix that in really well. The next thing I'm going to do it is add my coconut. mix that in and I'm going to also add my raisins mix that in as well the next thing I'm going to do is add my soft margarine or butter if you want to warm it up in the microwave to make it soft you could go ahead and do that that's exactly what I did with this I didn't melt it, I just warm it up a little bit so it could get soft. So you just want to mix that in. Then the next thing I'm going to do is add my milk. The next thing I'm going to do guys, I'm going to go ahead and add my eggs to that. And that is two eggs. And I'm also going to add my ginger and I'm going to add a tablespoon of vanilla and mix this all in 
and see guys I'm not even using a mixer for this all I'm using is my my wooden spoon as you can see and make sure you mix this in really really well and in case I forgot to tell you guys I used a cup and a half of milk and you could use any kind of milk that you have in your um, pantry if you even want to use coconut milk or coconut cream you could use that it's going to give me give it more flavor so that's that that looks pretty good so now make sure guys your oven is already turned on and your oven should be on 350 and this is going to take a full hour to yeah. bake okay guys I have my baking container here and as you can see I buttered it up real good you want to make sure so you butter up this thing because you don't want when you're ready to get your total out your total is sticking so all I'm going to do here is add the mixture in oh this thing smells so good already oh my god this thing smells so good I used to watch my mother baking this every single Friday she would bake this and then she would serve it up everybody in the yard would come for a slice of this thing and I'm telling you this thing was so good so good all right so now I'm gonna top this thing off with some more coconut on top my mom used to do this all the time when she finished grater up and mix up and everything she would have a little bit more coconut left over and she would just sprinkle this on top of the total and may I tell you boy mm -mm, the thing was massive so yeah that's it I'm gonna pop that in the oven and I'm gonna let that bake again like I said for an hour it's gonna bake for an hour at 350 so we will come back and I'll show you what that looks like so see you back so here you have it guys it's all done it came out really good it's still very hot so I can't cut it yet but yeah it's baked at 350 for one hour and it is gorge just the way I want it okay um, I'm just going to cut a little piece of it so you guys could actually see how nice this thing came out when you follow this step here your total is going to come out just as good as mine so there you have it guys you see it's still hot you can still see that smoke coming out of it so there you have it just like that Jamaican total in my kitchen don't forget to like and subscribe let me know what you like to see me cooking next and as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat cover it up nice and make it simmer and when it's done simmer a time for eat so see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes so this is in with your foundation full coverage you know like bam and last but not least the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here let me show you what this baby looks like it has a whole bunch of concealers I believe it's $10 for this palette.